Hello and good morning, Year 3 and 4. Um, in English this week, we are looking at persuasive writing and we're looking at adverts in particular. And we're going to be writing about um, pyramids and trying to persuade the Egyptians to want to come and get buried in our pyramids. But before we get on to that, we need to do a bit of extra learning. So our first learning intention for Monday is we're going to use ER and EST suffixes. So, first of all, what are suffixes? So you could be thinking in your head or talk to the parent um, or someone that's working with you. What do you think the suffixes are? Where do they come in the word? Um, so they do come at the end of the word and you add them on to the root word. So in your home learning document, there's three different tables. The first table has a set of words um, and these words can just have their ER suffix added to them without any changes. So quite simple. So our first example is um, tool. For adding the ER suffix, we just add ER at the end. So making it taller and then tool est, we add that EST at the end. So you need to do that for um, the, all the different words on that in that grid. Um, and then when we move on, um, I've given you a group of words that end in E, so each word has E at the end. So the example I've given you for this one is nice. So can you notice what happens with nice when we add our ER suffix and our EST suffix? What's the difference between this set of words and this set of words? Think in your head or talk to your uh, talk partner if you have one or a parent. So you should have said that this time we're not just adding in the ER because we've already got an E. So we're using that E kind of and having our ER there as well. So we're not adding ER to the nice. We've got our E already. So really we only need to add the R to make it nicer. Same with nice S. The nicest present you can get. Um, we don't add in an extra E, we keep that E we had at the start and we add our ST. Okay, so keep doing that pattern with the rest of the words. Um, and then the last set of words we're going to be looking at end with Y. Okay, so you could be thinking already what you think is going to happen this time with um, words that end with Y. So the example I've given you for this one is happy. So for happy, what's happening when we add our ER and our EST? -E We've got happy. When you get here, what's different when you get here? Spoken or thought in your head. Um, so what we got is that the Y actually changes into an I, okay? Before you can add your ER or your EST, you have to change that Y um, into an I, okay? So now it says happier with our I, and I've underlined it to really show you where it goes before the ER. And then for happiest, we've still got our extra I, so we've changed the Y into an I, happy, happiest, okay? Um, so there are the three different rules for adding ER and EST suffixes. And there is an extension for you to make a list of these ER and ES words um, that you may want to use in your adverts. OK, so you may hopefully come back to this later on in the week and you'll have a list of words that you've got ready to use. Um, some of them you won't need to use, uh, but I want you to create a list um, for the ones that you think you will use. So I hope that makes sense for the year threes and fours and I'll see you uh, later on in the week. Thank you. Bye.